Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we will discuss Class 11 Mathematics Chapter 16 Probability. In that, random experiment. All of you might be familiar with the experiment which you do in chemistry lab where you know the input value and also you know the output value. You put two or three solutions together and then you get a result and that result is the known result. So here in the case of chemistry lab experiment already you know the result. So you are just verifying or just you are checking that result. Such type of task we call as the experiment which are not random experiment. In the case of random experiment it is not possible to predict the output. Here we can say that the possibilities of output we can't say the exact result of the random experiment. Such experiment we call as a random experiment where here we have more than one possible outcomes. We can have more than one result in the case of random experiment and also we can't predict the result in advance. We can call such experiment as random experiment. Now let us have a look at some of the examples which comes under random experiments. The first one is tossing a coin. See, whenever I toss a coin, let us say that we have one coin and that coin I am tossing. When we toss a coin, there are only two possibilities. Either I may get head or either I may get tail. Getting head and tail both is not possible. So there is an exceptional case when the coin land on its edge. But that case we are not considering here. So when we toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes. Either we may get head or either we may get tail. See, when you do this particular task, you can't predict the outcome or you can't predict the result in advance. You can't say that before tossing the coin that next when you toss the coin you are going to get head. It is not possible to predict the result. You can say the result only after doing this particular experiment. So such type of experiment we call as a random experiment. Similarly, let us take a die. We know that the die consists of six sides with different numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 up to 6. So, in the case of die, we have six sides. So, when you throw a die, there is a possibility that you may get either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. You may get any one of these six values. But getting all these values or getting 2, 3 values is not possible when you throw a die. So, in the case of throwing a die task also, we can have more than one result. We can get either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So, throwing a die has more than one possible result. Similarly, tossing a coin also has more than one possible result. It is head or tail. In this case, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Any one of these 6 numbers we may get. And also, when you throw a die, you can't predict the output or you can't predict the result in advance. We can't say that uh, you are going to get 1 only or you are going to get 2 only. It is not possible to decide the output before doing the task. We can find the output only after doing the task. Whereas in the case of chemistry lab experiment, see there, before doing the experiment, you know the input as well as you know the result. You know that if you put this solution, you are going to get that particular result. Whereas in the case of random experiment, here in the case of tossing a coin or throwing a die, you know that you are doing some task and also you know that possible result. But exact result you can't say before doing the task. So such type of experiment we call as a random experiment. See, in this case tossing a coin, it has more than one possible outcome. That is either we may get head or tail. Similarly, throwing a die also has more than one possible outcome. Because in the case of die, we have six sides. So either we may get one or two 3, 4, 5 or 6, then it is not possible to predict the outcoming advance. 
See, in both of these cases, we can't decide the outcome or we can't decide the result at the beginning only. It is not possible. If you toss a coin, either you may get head or tail. If you throw a die, either you may get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. But saying the exact result is not possible. So, these type of experiment we call as a random experiment. So, whenever we do a random experiment, there are two values associated with that. The first value is the outcome and the second value is the sample space. So now let us see what is outcome. Outcome means it is the output of the experiment or it is the result of a random experiment. When you do a random experiment, you get some result. That result we call as the outcome. See, in the case of tossing a coin, either we may get head or tail. So, here we call this head or tail as the outcome. Similarly, when you throw a die, you may get these six numbers, any one of these six numbers. So, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all these values are known as outcome. The possible outcome output of a random experiment are known as outcome. Then if you write all these possible outputs together in the form of set, then we call as a sample space. Set all of you are familiar that we have discussed in chapter 1 of class 11 syllabus which is a collection of well defined elements. So now here if you write all these possible answer or possible result in the form of set then we call that as a sample space. And in the case of sample space to denote the sample space we use the letter S and also the sample space has many outcome result. So, each outcome result we call as a sample point. So, that is about the outcome and sample space. See here, I have taken two coins. Let us say that there are two coins which I am tossing. See, we know that when I toss so one single coin then we may have two result head and tail again we have your two coins so coin one and coin two in both the cases we may get head or tail now the possible outcomes are we are tossing two coins so either in when we toss first coin we may get head again for the second coin we may get head so one possibility is head head then another possibility is head and tail another possibility is tail and head another possibility is tail tail so when you toss two coins you may get these outcomes or you may get these result one of these results getting these all these together is not possible either you may get h h head 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 tail tail head or tail tail then the sample space we write in the form of set all these outcomes together if you write in the form of set that is by putting a curly brackets then h h comma h t comma t h comma t t then this together known as a sample space and every element of this that is the outcome each individual outcome we call as a sample point so this is the outcome and sample space for two coins similarly if i have one coin then in that case outcome is nothing but h or t then sample space is nothing but h comma t we are writing in the form of set then throwing a die in the case of throwing a die outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 then sample space if i write all these values together in the form of set then i can call that as a sample space now this we can call as a sample space for throwing a die and this is a sample space for throwing a single coin whereas in this case if you throw uh, if you toss two coins then we can have a sample space like this way so this is about random experiment if you like this video please like and subscribe also click the bell icon to get regular notification Thanks for watching.